scripture teaches that in the manner in which you received him, walk ye therefore. And we received him by grace through faith. And that's the way we are to walk. There are many people here today that, that God has been urging you on, that there's, there's things he's put in your heart that he wants you to do. There's things that you are doing that he wants you to go on with. And you're saying, Lord, the, two ta the task is too much for me. This is too big, Lord. And, and it's too big for you. It might even be the job you're at that God has called you to do. It might be the children that God's given you to raise. It might be the person he's called you into a relationship with. It might be the, the commitment of prayer, or the commitment of giving that he's called you to. Just whatever. Or it might be going on the mission field. Big or little is according to what you see. The mountain is big in your eyes, not anybody else's necessarily. And I just want you to know that God's grace is sufficient as you recognize, yes, Lord, this is you talking to me. And as you act on the word he's spoken into your heart, it will release all the grace necessary to do anything he's called you to. And let me encourage you that God is so pleased that you can hear a large call. If the call you feel in your heart you can do without that release of grace, then it's not big enough. God wants you to hear his word and say, yes, Lord, this is you talking. Yes, Lord, this is you speaking to my heart. And he wants to release that grace into your life. He wants to, to release the grace to do the great thing that God's called you to do. Lord God, we do. We just say amen to your word in our hearts, Lord God. We just say amen to what you said to us, Lord. We just say, Lord, we believe it's you speaking. We just say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, we will do it, Lord. We will drop our nets, Lord God. We will leave the tax table, Lord. We will take up our cross, Lord, and follow you this day, Lord God, fully trusting that you are able to accomplish that which you've spoken into our hearts, Lord God. Lord, some trust in chariots and some in the sword, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God.